Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. So I got another vehicle to that, to the staple of cars and trucks that we got so far. It's the new low C monster truck, the new Grave Digger. So stay tuned, watch this video. Here we go. All right. Okay guys, so here we are back to the unboxing of the Grave Digger. Uh, sorry guys, I shot an earlier video that I thought was recording, but it didn't record. So, unlucky me, <laughs> this is our unboxing. Basically, I just took it out of the box, as you can see here. Just took everything out of the box, did a rant, and not a re not really a rant, but just a little bit of a review of me talking about the, the Grave Digger, and now I gotta start all over, but no, nah, not a problem. That's the way it is. Okay, so... So basically I unboxed it, um, basically was telling you guys earlier that uh, uh, when I thought I was shooting um, the body of the Grave Digger, everyone loves this, it's a licensed vehicle, uh, it's the reason why I picked up three of them. I didn't mean to pick up three, I just wanted to get one, basically I ordered my first uh, Grave Digger off of Horizon. Um, I got an email on Friday, uh, not this Friday, but a previous Friday, today is Martin Luther Day, Junior Day. Uh, holiday and uh, so basically a week and a half ago on a Friday I got an email notification from Horizon that I signed up for it so when it came in stock um, I could order it so I ordered my grave digger um, I was surprised that it actually came in the following Thursday so it took like a, just a few days I mean Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday actually I think I got it on Tuesday not even on Thursday so it was just a few days um, they didn't have to spend extra shipping and I actually live in Hawaii so I was kind of happy about that and I know a lot of people had to wait like months and months when they pre-order their felony or infraction and it took like a month to get theirs but I was very happy to get this in just a few days um, so story goes I ordered this on a Friday got it on Tuesday um, during that weekend I actually played um, one of those waffles on Facebook one of my regular pages that I, I always uh, play to win my vehicles I think I, I actually won this felony um, look at my closet here that felony and what else here uh, I won my max my hoss a whole bunch of stuff I actually won several maxes I won several hosses I just took the cash payout but anyway guys here we are back at the grave digger so I won the uh, son of a grave digger which is the blue version of this a uh, little bit different shape in the body in terms of the nose, and we'll talk about that later. But um, just yesterday, uh, Sunday, I went to the local hobby shop because I was looking for parts for my Creighton. Um, I just posted a video on that. I needed diff parts, some pins, etc., etc. They actually had grave diggers at my local hobby shop. Who would have thought? They actually had several, so people were buying these. Uh, they told me they had sold seven of them, so I was kind of shocked that they even had seven of them. So uh, they had one on the floor. They said, you know what, let me take that. I was going to buy an extra body because they actually had several bodies too. So I know a lot of people were uh, having problems on YouTube. If you watch their videos with, um, of those guys who have reviewed this already and have bashed their, um, their grave diggers, they actually have cracked here. Around this uh, this part of the front bumper, they even uh, broke off the lights here in the back in the front. So a lot of cracks here, and then on the back, you can see how flimsy this is. Look how flimsy this is, guys. That's kind of flimsy. See how it even bends here. So I guess if you land on the back, this part cracks, cracks and bends. It affects the sticker too for some people. Uh, peeling off, but this breaks. So I'm gonna be uh, shoe gluing and. Uh, uh, drywall taping this body this body up before I bash and there's a, a few other things that I'm going to discuss uh, doing to this vehicle aside from just uh, tightening and looking at all the screws but if you want to save your body guys um, uh, look on YouTube for something do a search like on grave digger uh, bodies or low C or LMT uh, bodies there's a guy already posted um, a video about uh, putting on like Traxxas bodies or just measuring and kind of showing you what kind of bodies will fit on this because I already took off the pins guys here are the pins there are four pins two in the middle of the truck basically here and there's two in the front so from underneath 
there's two pins on the back and then you can flip it up but it, when you get your um, your low C you're gonna get this manual of course there's gonna be an extra strap and I believe this is just for a larger battery and then you get four double A's which is nice of them to include four double A's uh, not too many people throw in the batteries but for your remote but they give you posts so you have body posts here so in that YouTube video, he's showing what kind of um, bodies will fit this if you want to save your body and just, you know, take off your grave digger body here. I'll lift it up and show you how it works. There's a hinge here. And you see where the pivots there? Basically, you just take off this entire top piece here by unscrewing the two screws. And then you can install your body posts onto the frame of this and then just you know put on your own different body now you lose the attraction of having the grave digger but of course you save the body so um i mean that's good to know that you can do that and it's nice that they included the uh, the body posts but at my local hobby shop they're already selling and they had several grave digger and son of grave digger bodies so they were selling them from a hundred for like a hundred dollars and then that kind of like prompted me you know should i save spend a hundred bucks or just spend just another five, get another one. So I got, I got a, I got a, a, a third LMT. So I got two grave diggers and I got one son of a grave digger. So the one grave digger that I got from Horizon, which is still in its original package and box, um, I'm just gonna keep on the side. Who knows if this is gonna appreciate or not? But I guess I'll just collect it and hang on to it, uh, and I'll just bash the other two, this grave digger and the um, the son of a grave digger. But there's some things we're going to do again, like I said, before we do that. But, you know, at least you have that option. Uh, what else comes in a package? There's also um, these two pieces that's been talked about here. Let me kind of show you. Um, I guess they call it zero toe uh, adjusters. Not sure what you would call those guys. But basically, it would go here where the rear hub is. And you see how the... The truck has the tires towed in. So if you were to put these on and replace the one that's on it, it'll basically uh, zero out your tow. So it's basically in parallel with the front tires. Uh, why would you want to do that? Well, having it tow in is actually going to help with your turning, uh, with, your, with, your, um, with your steering and everything. And it'll keep your body in line. But uh, I guess, you know, if you want to save tires or just want it to have so that it's zero tow and pointing straight, then that's what you would put this in here, in there for. But from what I've been watching on YouTube videos, um, the monster truck, the way that this is built, uh, it's kind of squirrely. So even though it's a 3S capable uh, a monster truck, you can run 3S LiPo on it. It is pretty fast, but it's not meant to be, you know, as a, it's more of a, not really a total basher, but it is more for like uh, doing jumps, short jumps, a little bit of bashing, uh, but no speed runs because it does wobble a lot. It's hard to track or keep in a straight line. So if you watch, um, I think the latest video I watch is by Earl Moorhead. You should watch his channel. He's very informative. Uh, he does a lot of Arma stuff. And I've been learning a lot from his uh, videos. But he's had, he has his Grave Digger and Son of a Grave Digger. And the last video that I saw is when he was doing jumps. Every time he did like full throttle um acceleration on it his truck wouldn't track straight so basically he had to uh, turn his steering wheel just to keep it from uh, you know veering off as he approached his jump so that's one thing to keep in mind guys um you know it's not meant for high speed runs maybe that's why they you know included this maybe to help with the the truck uh, for for tracking straight but it's not a speed truck guys I'm not sure what these other pieces are. I'm not sure if they're like for battery spacers, but for these pieces, just um, read the rest of the manual. I'll read the rest of the manual later on, guys, but let me just show you the rest of the truck. So really happy about this truck. Look at the the design. I mean, it's I mean it's it's terrific. I, I always wanted to get the Grave Digger. When the SMT-10 came out, I always wanted to get that. I was thinking of getting that, but news broke out quickly about the the lmt coming out so i figured you know what i'm gonna save my money even though the the smt was only 300 dollars, i mean it's not really only but it's half the price of this vehicle but um 
I watched Kevin Talbot's uh, vi uh, video on his SMT, and he wasn't totally happy with it. Um, there's some things he had to do. He had some gripes because it, it has, uh, I think, Dean's plugs on that. And the, the leads coming out of the truck is kind of short. And, I mean, he just wasn't happy with it. So I thought, you know, get a low C when it comes out. It's going to be a better truck, better built truck. So that's what it is. Uh, so the design is really good. Uh, people aren't happy with the sticker. So I'm not sure if this camera is picking it up well. But if you look at the, look at the front end. And look at the paint on that. I mean, it's it's a vibrant green, a very vibrant black. Okay, that's kind of like painted on, except for this part. This is a decal. It does come with the uh, running lights up front. These are red. The son of the grave digger, I believe, is blue. But that's if you look at the paint job and the plastic here, very vibrant. But once you get to the the roof. And the side now the roof looks a lot better not as bad as I thought it would be I mean there's some imperfections here if you look at here we'll probably have to take a heat gun kind of shrink these uh, air bubbles out but the sides people were saying you know what it's kind of opaque because this is a sticker um, and some people were kind of saying on their YouTube channel, you can get an X-Acto knife and then just cut out the pieces or trim out the, um, the empty spaces here. So it show the, uh, the black underneath instead of the decal. But you got to do that with a really, really steady hand and a very sharp X-Acto blade and knife. Brand new blade I would put in and a knife. But that's so tedious to kind of like cut out all of this empty space here. But, you know, looking at mine, it's not as bad. I mean, I, I understand what they're saying about the, uh, the opaqueness, meaning that it's not as vibrant as the front, the front hood, like this. And we look at this and you can kind of tell that it's, you know, it's just not as sharp and it just doesn't pop. But that's just a gripe, so. But everyone talks about the with the uh, details. You can see this, the center diff here. I uh, got the side plates. The wheels and tires it's it's a very very handsome truck so we'll open up the we'll flip up the top okay we'll flip up the top so i like i mentioned there's only four pins that you got to take out and once you take out the four pins it reveals the truck okay so it works on a hinge system take a look there everything is spectrum again this is uh i think losi is now owned by horizon so they've been switching everything to their own electronics which is a Spectrum, another company that they own. So that's what it looks like underneath. Again, it works on a hinge system. You can take off the body by taking off these screws on the side, putting your body post there. And there are a bunch of holes. Now, a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but the video that I've seen, um, they've been talking about these holes. They're not sure what they are for. I'm sure it's all suspension related, uh, mounting different points for the suspension. Now, I'm not that technical in it. And basically, I just see what I like in terms of RC and run it. And then when I encounter problems or if I know I could build it better in terms of reliability and um, maybe better speed or just to make it, you know, my own, then I'll follow them and do it. But I'm not sure either what all these suspension or all these holes are on the frame is. Um, it's different than any other RC that I've owned because normally we just have a flat chassis. And this is a different type of chassis where basically we have a frame. So it's a side-by-side -side frame and then everything is built to keep it together, um, you know, going across and not, you know, bolted to the frame. So it's a little bit different. So we we'll look here. There is a servo. It is a, a Spectrum servo, uh, S614. From what I've heard, it's a pretty good servo. Uh, it looks good. Um, it does use a servo saver. And I seen in Earl Moorhead's uh, video, his servo actually, the screw backed out. So I'll keep an eye on that. You can actually adjust this by tightening it or loosening it. And I'm sure you wanna um, tighten it down, make sure it's tight. You could probably use Loctite if you wanna use Loctite, but um, that's up to you. But I'll keep an eye on the, um, the servo saver and that screw. Um, another thing too, people have been talking about, 
I forget his channel, uh, what I was watching, but I'll show you some things that he's been discussing. But during his um, run with the with the um, with the low C mini truck or this monster truck, the kingpins. See where my thing is pointing at? This is one of the kingpins here. So this actually has has backed out. It's held in by a grub screw, but there's a top and a bottom that had come loose and he had lost. So he was doing tricks. He's trying to do a um, try to do moonwalks uh, and backflips. So I guess repeated repeated actions of those. Um, it's been known that these kingpins kind of unscrew themselves and back out. So I've ordered myself uh, a couple of packs of kingpins just in case I lose them. But one of the quick fixes that he had was to loosen them up, raise it up, and then use something like shugu uh, to, to make it kind of like sticky and to glue it down and then put it back down, tighten it up, and tighten the grub screw. And that'll help keep the kingpins in there. So that's one of the things that he'd done. And then also the second is the sway bar. So the sway bar, let me see here. Here's the sway bar. Goes across, goes there. I'm going to take the uh, the grub screw out, put some Loctite, and reinstall it. So he said this seems to pop out too. So I'm not sure if it's this the front grub screw or front screw here or this one here up front, but I'm going to put Loctite on both of them. Um, other than that, uh, they said pretty much it was pretty much good. Um, the battery is held in place with this strap. So they were saying a tip to help you know put this on and take it off is to pinch it here, lift it up, and then you'll be able to kind of use your other hand to hook and unhook the strap. So just lift up here and then adjust that. But I think what I'm going to do, because I see on Earl Moorhead's uh, video, his bat battery actually flopped out. So I can kind of see that if you're using a heavy battery or a big battery and you're doing a lot of jump that your battery would move under this strap because it is elastic. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to use like a Protec uh, Velcro system in here. I've been kind of happy with that with the um, the Traxxas Haas and the Traxxas Max that I had. I got rid of their flip, flip system, which I didn't really like um, for different size batteries that I have. So... Um, with this system, um, I'll probably use both in conjunction, or if not, just get rid of the strap itself and just use the PureTech um, Velcro system. Because the PureTech is what, like ten dollars or under twenty dollars, so you know that's easy to take on and off. So I'll probably do that. Or you can actually put Velcro on the bottom of the tray and Velcro your batteries. But uh, I think the Velcro system, the strap system, the car the Arma uses on theirs is probably like a better deal, better way to do it. Everything is Spectrum, like I said. It's a Spectrum ESC, runs on 2-cell and 3-cell. Um, the motor is horrible. I guess this way. Not sure how you would say that. Is it longitude? Yeah, it goes side to side. And a reason for that, too, has, as it's been explained in other videos, that instead of being uh, this way, normally motors are this way, being it uh, going across or perpendicular to the body, it kind of helps with the... Um, will, will kind of help with the truck going straight or tracking straight because the motor turns this way. It wants to either go forward or if you're in reverse, going back, but always in a straight line. If you were to go this way as you spin, it'll kind of like make it want to move sideways. So that's probably maybe a design reason why they made it like this, but I'm not technical. That's just my, um, my version of what they were saying on the video and what they said. Uh, shocks are very very good. They said it doesn't look like it has more travel a lot of travel if you look at here <clears throat> Excuse me It doesn't look like it has a lot of travel, but you would have to pick it up. Let me just whoop, Drop something there. But let me just pick it up if I can it is heavy See that that has a lot of um, Suspension <clears throat> good suspension there. doesn't look seem like it has a lot, but it does I mean you have to think about it that it's already on the ground and that's all I have, but it's plush enough. Not sure what shock oil that they have, but you know, we'll run it and if you need to adjust it, you got shock oil to bleed it and put on it. But we want to run this stock as is, not change too many things. It does have, as you know, again, headlights. 
So you just got to be careful when you, if you do hook up your headlights, because the um, the wire is here on the side, but when you connect it to your connector, it's gonna sit like this. But as you open it, you may want to make sure that you don't, you know, pull out your wire. So you want to want to make sure that you disconnect it, or if you're not gonna run it, eh, just velcro it or zip tie it to the to the frame or to the brace if you're not going to use your lights but you have the graveyard you want to use the lights um, what else is there um, not sure of how much aftermarket parts there are for this as of yet I mean I did watch a video and as you know this is a solid um, axle truck we'll look at the bottom here these tubes are very, very rigid, the way that I, um, people have shown on their video and YouTube videos. So I don't have to worry too much about this bending. Drive shaft, it's pretty thick. Um, no one has broken a drive shaft yet. The only problem that people have been encountering with the, with the solid axles is cracking. <clears throat> so I've watched a video. Basically, his YouTube video is, is mostly about uh, doing monster trucks. So he... Um, has his monster truck and he was doing a bunch of backflips, bunch of flips, bunch of jumps, and he actually had cracked. He had actually had cracked his um, his solid axles, just the casing, the outside casing. Now it still ran and everything. He just cracked it and it developed a hole too. So you can actually fix it with resin or maybe like a plastic um, a plastic patch. There's plastic patches out there that you can buy and just do that. But I've ordered this per her rec his recommendation. And I wish I knew what the, the YouTube channel is, but something like XXRC or something like that. I'm sorry if I don't uh, have your uh, YouTube channel by heart. But I ordered this from um, JER, Custom Design. Now, there are two types of um, rear axle braces or supports that you can get out there. One was the carbon fiber one. Now the carbon fiber one, when I looked on the website, and it's not from JER, that one was from somebody else. It actually was just a support that went, let me show you this one, uh, the front side. So the carbon fiber one was just a support on the outside of the axle. It was sort of like a frame that kind of supported the, um, the axle itself. But if you look at the one that I picked up, there was a little bit of a cost difference between the red, I mean the blue and the green. The blue actually costs like five dollars more, and I'm I'm apparently I guess I, it's probably because um, these are three printed three D printed um, braces, but I'm assuming that the five dollar uh, differences is because of the cost of material when you three D printed it. But <clears throat> these are the axle frame braces. So as you can see, it is three D printed, and he has cut them out and and printed these out so they actually fit very tightly so when you put these on you see there are screw holes and everything he includes screws but it's optional not needed as per the instruction um, you can use your original screws so that's what I'm gonna do in his um, instructions and it does come with instructions um, which is a plus because not too many uh, People who sell parts, as you know, don't even include instructions, but mines came with instructions, and I'll show you here. A bunch of stickers, too. Even sent me some Smarties, but <laughs> during this pandemic, I know it's in a sealed package. I know it's candy, but you got to watch your sugar, and you got to, you know, be careful in this COVID situation. But anyway, if you look here, it says you got to remove such and such of the screws holding the lower link. So it tells you how to remove the link or what to do when you remove the link. But it says here, if you use a supply of bolts, make sure there's no binding due, due to the added length of the bolts, potentially hitting the shaft inside. So tells you what's included. There's a left and right axle brace, and there are uh, four differential bolts and four link bolts. Okay. So the front and rear, you're going to need two sets. And that's what I got here. So when you order, you gotta make sure that you get two. Oh, I'm sorry, I think this one included already the front and rear. The carbon one, you had to order a set of for the front and a set for the rear. This one is actually a pair already. So this one I got for $45. 
This one came out to uh, fifty dollars. Um, I think I had to pay hundred twenty again because I live in Hawaii and shipping. But these came quick. Uh, again, it only took like a few days. You know, normally in Hawaii, if you guys get your stuff in one to two days, it takes three to five days in Hawaii. So that's one of the things um, bad if you can say about living in Hawaii. We don't get uh, shipping or even can't even get some stuff via shipping. Like light bulb batteries. You can't even get light bulb batteries, guys, um, from certain companies. They won't ship to Hawaii because of the dangers of shipping. But in any case, putting those braces on will help um, keep the diff protected or keep it, you know, a little bit more solid, uh, less prone to cracking due to the uh, the stress put on the, the axles as you drive it. So, so hey, guys. Let me flip this back over. Okay, gang, before we close off this video, I just wanted to show you the parts that I installed on this that I mentioned in the video. So, as you know, uh, we put Loctite on the sway bars there. So, the grub screws, uh, we put some Loctite, blue Loctite, just to make sure that they don't come out. I put and finished putting the, I don't know if you can see it here, but if you look there, let's turn this there. There you go. I put a little bit of shoe goo on each of the kingpins. There is also there's two on each side on the front. There's a top and the bottom. So I did that. If you go to the website, there is freestylerc.com. So for the monster truck, he sells these braces, which is carbon fiber. You get both the front and the rear for forty five dollars. On CC uh, XRC YouTube channel, when he did his, he did not experience any breakage or cracking of this carbon fiber piece. So you can check that out. And you can check out the other web, the other things that he has. He has tribute adapters. So if you want to run uh, different wheels and tires, you can get those. And then the website for um, this here, here, JER Custom Designs is here. I'll show you that, JER Custom Designs. Again, I'm not sponsored by them. I just saw their products on the uh, YouTube channel and decided to get it. But he has a whole bunch of different parts you can get for your low-C mini truck. Axle braces, uh, cages, and a whole bunch of other things too. Okay, so I highly recommend watching this channel. Um, I got a lot of great tips. Again, this is the video that I was watching amongst among others. Uh, here's a Losi LMT. It was a live broadcast that he had done uh, back on January 12th it is. Yep, and he talked about uh, the braces, uh, both styles. Uh, the kingpin, some of the problems that he encountered. Um, also about getting, um, uh, let's see here, aluminum um, replacement cases for the axles. So um, there was a, d a different person or a different company that sent him some aluminum uh, axles. So he hadn't put them on yet, but they were nice pieces. They, put, you know, tolerances are very good, very, uh, very tight. So he, he kind of gave rave reviews just by looking at it. He hadn't tested it, but the internals on the low C mini truck is uh, monster truck is very good already. So basically, you just have to transform or put all those stock pieces of the differentials into the um, aluminum case. But highly recommend you watch his channel. Not sponsored by him, but um, a lot of good information about the low C monster truck. Um, and the last thing I did too, because watching his video, I did. You take a look here I did put uh, drywall tape oh it's actually not drywall tape this is actually uh, a black screen that you would use for aluminum doors no screen doors so I use that kind of material it's basically just um, uh, like a fiberglass uh, screen and I just um, uh, put shoe goo on it so I mean, it's a little bit more difficult to add the shoe goo to this because the material is a little bit heavier so even with a lot of thin layers of shugu, uh, still came out a little bit clumpy, but I found that this type of material, this um, screen mesh, is a little bit better and tougher than using the typical, I'll show you what I use here, drywall tape. So even though the drywall tape looks a lot cleaner, I mean, you don't see all of the clumps because it is a lighter color. Um, this is a little bit more rigid. I mean, the... I mean, given like com compared to my other uh, vehicles that I have done with the um, the screen, uh, this one's a little bit more flimsy, only because the grave digger body is kind of flimsy. I mean, I mean it's paper thin; it's not rigid at all. So, 
Um, I think a lot of people are, are already cracking theirs, especially in the front here. They're cracking the um, and tearing this part. So with the screen, this is actually a little bit more rigid. I can tell already it's a little bit more rigid here up front. A very, very much more stiffer here. So I don't expect this to crack. Um, I do expect the, <laughs> the headlights to break, though, if I land on the front. But the rear just can't be held. I mean, they're so thin. Yeah, they're so thin on the sides, but I don't expect it to tear as easily as if I did not have the um, the screen mesh and the Shugu. You can use whatever you want to use, Shugu, uh, E6000, or Flex. People people using the the Flex rubber material, but I kind of like the Shugu material. Um, and lastly, there is a product out there. Let me kind of see if I can do a, a search, but there is a steel bumper let me see here if i can put it in there bumper lmt and it's coming from japan um, from asia so if you could see here there's a bunch here that i came up with and i saw this on a youtube randomly so let me click on one of them it's an ebay item that you can get i see it on aliexpress as well but i'm having a hard time ordering because i do live in hawaii so uh, they either won't ship it or right now to get this from Asia or whatever like you, you can see this here it does not ship to Hawaii but there are some places that, sh that are shipping it they run between 29 to 35 dollars and it's actually in a, a steel or aluminum front bumper that you can put up front there so it doesn't fully go as high as I thought it would be but it's enough to protect the front so It'll prevent at least a little bit of it not. So you can see here. Let me get a better clip like that. These are to protect the uh, those front headlights a little bit better and your front nose. So I'm just gonna wait and see if um, more eBay sellers will get those and we'll ship to Hawaii and wait. Okay, guys.